Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Spelunky! It's been a very long time since I've played Spelunky, let me tell you that. We're going on the quest to kill King Yama, we are still trying our hardest to kill King Yama. He's proving to be rather elusive, we haven't even made it to hell yet, let alone to King Yama himself. Obviously it takes a lot of time and energy to get to hell. You need a lot of items and a lot of good luck and a lot of patience. And at this rate, based on the amount of treasure we're getting, this isn't going to be one of those times. We need to try and up our treasure intake. But unfortunately there is not that much treasure on this floor it seems. Which isn't too great for us because we need to buy things and all the rest of it. So if we can't buy things, then the only other way to acquire things is to sell, th uh, not sell, Jesus, steal things. Oh man, that was a bit of dumb damage right there. Hop, hop, hop. Nice little jumping puzzle. So what's been going on in the uh, in the in the time where we haven't been on air? Well, big news: the Spelunky level editor has been released. That's pretty impressive. There's a Spelunky mod called Fro Froslunky, Froslunky, which comes with a whole heap of stuff that you can do to the game, including changing the enemy's AI and things like that, as well as now the Spelunky level editor. And I've I've had a little go go with it because those of you who know me will know that I like making my own content for games. I love modding games as well. So the level editor was actually a pretty decent. Uh, Discovery. I, especially since I'd read previously that uh, actually there used to be a level editor that then got discontinued because uh, the makers of Spelunky actually didn't really like having one for their game. They thought it kind of ruined it a little bit. So the fact that now one has emerged is actually pretty astonishing and uh, I'm quite looking forward to spending some more time with it. At the moment I'm kind of just doing some basic sort of looking around trying to work out how it works and stuff and it's uh, it's it would be a lie to say it's straightforward and user friendly it's a little bit complex not not too much it's easy enough to pick up but it's um at the moment just not massively user friendly um which you know it is fine it's uh it's still early i think but it could uh could go on to be something really impressive if it ever does take off massively. I'm hoping I can... Okay, I can dig through to something here. That's good. As long as the mattock doesn't break. Now I did see the Kali statue over yonder, so hopefully this is high enough. Yep, that'll do. Then we can just go through here. Rescue our fair maiden and sacrifice him to the higher beings, or well, at least that would be the plan. Come on now! Sacrificing the puppy in aid of a pitcher's mitt. Well, I get, you know, we got the, the Kali Cup on the way, hopefully if we can sacrifice a few more, so I guess ultimately not too concerned. Pitcher's Mitt's not a bad item. In fact, you know what, actually, it's pretty damn useful, especially later on when you have to start taking out Anubis and stuff. It can be useful to just be able to throw a bomb in a cardinal direction. So, eh, I'm not too fussed. Let's move on. I'm hoping I can get some spider paste as well for sticky bombs, they're useful. Although, ideally, I would like that without having to pay for it. Ah, the key for the Uji eyes through here and let's keep going because of that power up crate right there that will contain something useful for us it would if I could get it some ninja rope cool and then of course we have Pugsy Malone up there as well lure out that spider don't need the skull, the mattock on the other hand we will take with us further down. Let us gather the key as well, we're going to need the key and the... Oh, the 
rats. <laughs> Forgot the pitcher's mitt. Both a blessing and a curse. A blessing and a curse. Oh, wait. Off you go, Mutley. Oh, the cobra's gonna attack it. Not anymore, but it would have done. Uh, what's down here? Anything? Oh, well, yeah, there's stuff useful down there for me. Treasure and the sort. Pluck through there. Anything else along here, maybe? Oh, I didn't even need to do that, man. Didn't even need to do that. That's okay. Come here, Pugsy. Uh, Pugsy or Mutley? What do we reckon? I mean, Pugsy was the way it was for Pugsy Malone and all that, but Mutley, you know, suddenly rediscovered the wacky races recently with Dick Dastardly and Mutley. And Mutley suddenly seems like a better name for him. Because, uh, well, sentimental reasons, I guess. Freaking Batman. Batman. Oops. Sorry! I dropped, a, dropped the key on something. I don't think it was Mutley, but I definitely dropped the key on something. So we're in a dangerous position now. I need to get some health back, which hopefully Mutley here will allow me to do. Has that arrow trap been set off? No, it had not. Good. Glad I tested that before just running blindly. And put you in there. Kill the bat. Oh, I'm going to have to chase after that now for the hope that there was some treasure in it. Probably wasn't because it would have hit there. Okay. Where's the ghost coming from? <gasps> oh, the wrong side. Okay. Not to worry. My ghosting skills are rusty, but not non-existent. Phew. Onwards to floor four. Is there going to be a Kali statue on this floor, maybe, that I could sacrifice Mutley to? They've all been Mutley in this playthrough so far. I'm wondering what's happening to the other one. Maybe I've got it set to Mutley. Also, where are the shops? Is there a no shop mode that I've unknowingly unlocked? Because if, if that's the case, then I need to find out how to turn that back on, because uh, the shops are useful, and I would very much like to... Ah, oh, spiky shoes! Okay, I think we can get through to there, so we won't worry about wasting any matic uses on that. Come here, Mutley! Matley, you sniggering, flappy-eared hound. When courage is needed, you're never around. Those medals you wear on your half-eaten chest should be there for bungling, at which you are best. So, stop the pigeon, stop the pigeon. Fantastic, fantastic cartoon. If you haven't watched it, I would thoroughly recommend it. Made by the geniuses that are Hanna-Barbera. It's a shame, I don't see many Hanna-Barbera cartoons around anymore. You know, I mean, it's partly probably because we haven't got Cartoon Network. That was always the place to catch Hanna-Barbera. And, oh, if I, no, I'm okay. I was going to say, have I dug myself into a pit here? But no. I, um, oh, boo. I remember, like, I watched the Wacky Races recently, and they had the, uh, the kind of, oh, the ident, you know, the, uh, the thing they play at the end, with where it has all the kind of cartoon noises, don't you dare! And all their Hanna-Barbera characters kind of flashing across the screen. And I was like, man, I haven't seen that for so long. That brought back a good sense of nostalgia. Oh, there's a shopkeeper. The wrong one. <sighs> really not doing well on health or items. Got plenty of treasure. And we've got what we need to get to the black market. But it's not going well. Oh, monkey! Come on! Get out of here. There's nothing even over that way. Oh, there's a shop for hired help. Which is not what I want. What I want is a shop for items. And those are not items. 
Oh! Damn. Damn, 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 damn. That suddenly went very wrong very quick. Especially now we're down to one hit point. Thought I was going to land on the man trap then as well. Oh, there's our pretty lady friend. Oh, that's how it's done. <gasps> and there's a sacrificial altar down there as well. Let's do this. Well, at least we put that caveman out of his misery. At least he hasn't got to suffer that insufferable fate any longer. Huh. That's how you do that. <laughs> Whoop. I was about to say, how has that frog not died yet? Uh, uh, oh, I don't like it. Let's kill that. Oh, there was blood there as well that I could have taken. Uh, right. Oh, oh, blood. Ah, gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Good, right. Whew, lovely. Starting to earn the hit points back now. And we have a weapon as well. Which will be useful if we ever find a shop to rob Jesus. Oh, I should have thought about that. Now I'm not going to be able to explore the other side. Damn. Got some ninja ropes to burn though, so... Let's go and have a look. Piranha? No piranha. So I see Muttley over there. Damn. Can't reach. That's fine. Okay, let's hang on to Muttley then, I guess. Actually, no, let's not. I'm going to have a feeling I'm going to need this boomerang. Well, shoot. It was not really the intention I was hoping for. Now we're in a really bad way. Ah, huh, a ruby. How quaint. <gasps> I saw you! Oh, the piranha. <laughs> okay. Let's get rid of that. At least Muttley's safe. Oi! Where is the black market? Where is it? I'm sure I heard the thing pulse. Okay. Oh. Uh. Did I not? Were my ears deceiving me? How quaint. <gasps> I'm sure I heard it pulse. Maybe I didn't know. Well, let's just get out of here. I guess I won't know until... We... Beat the jungle! <sighs> Oi. And I'll have to look it, look it back in editing, I suppose. Gimme blood! Desperate need of health. Where's that other frog at? Is he stuck up there? Hope so. Oh, f fudge you bat! This the evolved form of gold bat for those of you uninitiated. Fudge you bat! <laughs> right, this is too dangerous for a man of my age, and indeed a man of my alloy composition. Because, believe it or not, gold isn't that great a material for making men out of. Just ask Midas. He regretted it so much there was a story made about him. Let's kill this man, man trap for some blood. Whew. And one more. 
Oh, do you know what I just realised? I'm really hungry. Oh, do you ever get that? Just the sudden realisation of your stomach kind of going... Urgh. I mean, it has a... <gasps> Restless dead level. Hello! That shotgun's going to go. But it's okay. We'll recover that a bit later. Two power-up crates. Not bad. And the crystal skull there as well, obviously. I have a funny feeling that we have missed the black market. Because it pulsed that one time and then it's just unable to find it ever again. I love the soundtrack in the Restless Dead levels. If we can find the entrance to the castle, then we'll go there instead. But, having said that, we're not in a great nick here. We're kind of uh, on, our, on our last legs, I believe is the uh, appropriate phrase for what we are. And I can't even find the entrance to the castle. Oh, missed all of that blood as well. Oh, great. Okay, well... We can't do any more. Can't do anything now. We won't get to King Yama, that's for sure. So... Oh, never mind. Instead... Let's try and find... There's the worm. Let's go to the worm. Is there a damsel around? We probably won't last very long in the worm. Oh! Watch out. We'll last even less time in the worm if we can't find the damsel to take us there. And we're going to be spending all of our ninja ropes to get back up to it. Whew. Makes me nervous. Oh, there you are! No! Oh. You know what? Sod it. We can't do anything else. <laughs> oh, well, I didn't expect much less. You know, it's uh, been a while since I've played Spelunky. So, we're still a little bit rusty. Do feel free to join me next time, though, when we'll have another go at beating King Yammer. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Have a good day. I love you. Bye!